All right, so I'm going to be posting this before my videos, guys, and you can partake in it or not, but we're going to do some singing bowls, and I'm going to say a little prayer, and you're welcome to just sit and relax and free your mind up before the reading with me. Um, I just wanted to do this. I'll timestamp it, so if you want to go straight to your reading, that's fine, too. So we're going to go ahead and start. are meant for, to assist them on their journey of healing and spiritual growth. I appreciate your unconditional love and guidance. Thank you, angels, guides, ancestors, and Lord of love. Amen. <sighs> okay, guys, so singing bowls, I'm just going to relax and listen. Hello, my cardinal signs, that is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. You're going to have to excuse me, you guys. My voice is cutting in and out. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's just um, just dry, I guess. But um, I am doing a full moon reading, and I'm doing this now for the cardinal signs. Um, I'm in my new space, you guys, so we're finally here. If you've been with my channel for a while, you know I've been in a space between spaces and been working on this for a long time, um, been talking about it for a long time, and it's finally here. So I'm super happy about that, and this is super nice. So I'm very grateful and blessed and thankful for you guys and the space to do these readings in. So I am stoked right now. I'm like super happy. Um, so you guys, let's go ahead and, oh, this is the monthly, um, portal of presents, presents I pulled, and doesn't it look like a moon? Very wise. There's a lot of wisdom in this moon, and there's a lot of learning, and a lot of, um, going in and taking our responsibility for our, our lives, our past, our present, so we can be victorious in our future and we can really get what we want. Um, so in order to get the victories, I always say this, we have to own, we have to own everything and then we can own the victory when we come out of the shadows and out of the, and the shadows aren't necessarily bad, you guys. It's also what makes us tough. It's also our grit, as I just um, talked about in the mutable um, moon. It was about grit and getting things done. So this moon is about getting things done, and it's um, we're going to see what's being mostly illuminated for you guys during this full moon. But um, I'm going to start with this little 
prayer here. Thank you, Spirit, for your guidance, protection, and unconditional love. I'm grateful for all known and unknown, seen and unseen, divine energy guiding, allowing, and protecting us as we receive these messages with an open heart and mind. I pray these messages of healing and protection reach those who need them and those who will fully embrace and express their own divine energy for the highest and most loving good. As we walk on the path of love, healing, and redemption, may your healing light touch, taint, and transform all darkness and understanding acceptance and faith in the holy light of love amen thank you spirit all right so this moon energy you guys i'm excited about it i'm feeling there are tons of shifts tons of change in energy it's good um it's good if you aren't battling it out with yourself or others about shadowy aspects um it's releasing our past traumas it's taking responsibility for our past choices and our choices today so that we can fully be present and take our power completely into the present and really really make something happen this next cycle you guys i am feeling it i am feeling it and i hope you guys are feeling it so all right let's get a overall energy for the cardinal signs for this full moon this full moon is in capricorn you guys um I was reading something about it and being like the sea goat because it goes deep in the emotions and it can climb mountains. And I feel like we have to go deep into our psyche and our emotions in order to climb those big mountains. Um, it makes us stronger, you guys. Oh, look at that. The star. I love that. I love this. So, um, cardinal signs, go into that true north, heading in, in the direction you're being guided and led to. Um, not blinking an eye when it comes to following your guides and guidance and reaching and hopefully um, definitely touching your dreams your the star is one of my favorite cards out of the tarot I love the star um, I always feel it as it's like final like it's such a strong connection from the divine to us I do feel the star is like the understanding that there's something here that we're reaching we're reaching for it's not oh how do i put this okay there's something out there we are reaching for that we can't necessarily see here or necessarily even understand all the time but we feel it and we're guided by that and i do feel that as our like north nodes um just our what we're to become during this lifetime and this is divine energy helping to guide us and lead the way for us and Oh, it's so nice. Um, it's also healing, you guys. So if you've been on the healing path, this is tremendously healing energy um, during this full moon for you guys. So that's awesome. Um, if this does not resonate, check out your actual moon sign. If this is your sun sign, um, I do suggest checking out like your moon reading with your moon sign. So you may be a Cancer with a Pisces moon. You may be a Libra with a Taurus moon. or but It can be go every way. It does help to know your charts, guys. So I just want to say that. I don't say that all the time, but I do want to say that. So the star, you guys. This is nice. I love the star. It's truly, truly feeling connected to your divine path. Okay? Feeling that connection. Feeling yourself being guided in your your true alignment of what, what it is you're supposed to be aligning with and are aligning with during this lifetime. So I love that, you guys. That's really nice. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Um, let's see here. Sorry about that. Okay. Get this card right first. Okay. There we go. All right. First, we are going to pull. Let's get a couple of these. Now, this is the El Goliath Tarot. I got it a long time ago. Um, geez, must have been well, five years ago, maybe four years ago. And I don't know. I don't know if you can get it anymore. But it's beautiful. His artwork is beautiful. Um, he does it all sketching and hands. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Two of Swords, the Blind Seal. Some of these images, you guys. Okay. There could be something here. You're just um, trying to feel your way through um, because you feel like you, you feel like you're missing something, you know? Um, there could be a feeling of 
I'm missing something, so I need to feel myself, feel my way through this and ask for guidance and be guided by my guides through this time because there's just something feeling um, not seen or in Page of Swords. And you could even be letting your mind get the best of you too right now if this is your reading. If it's not, save it for somebody who's, who, whose it is. Um, but this is also to me um, overcoming mental obstacles too. Um, in a mental obstacle of thinking you need to see something in order to make a choice to go towards it can be a mental obstacle because sometimes we have to make those choices regardless of if we see an outcome or see a, f a final um, result or not. It's just, but we have to get through that mental blockage first of, no, if I can't see the result or I can't see something, I'm not going towards it. This could be your guidance. This could be you being guided and going, no, if I can't see it, um, I'm going to stay right here. I'm not making a move until I can see exactly the path I need to take. Sometimes we have to take those leaps of faith, you guys. Um, and we got justice. Nice. Yeah, so there is, um, yeah, let's sit with this for a second. On the bottom, the hidden wolf. Yes, it's like, there feels like you could be feeling something here hidden like in the shadows okay and you could even just be really protecting yourself right now um and just following your guidance i have been getting this message that and i do feel it like collectively because we're dealing with a lot of people's like shadows and like the people there's people who haven't been doing a lot of their shadow work and stuff like that or they just don't want to and they're gonna lash out on you guys or you know it's it's gonna happen and we're gonna see it anybody who's been through it been through their shadow work and knows and understands most importantly what that is and even can see beyond it and doesn't see like the ugly face coming at them but sees the, the pain or the insecurities behind it or the healing that's desperately needed um, we're almost being cautioned not to um, step into other people's ways when they're doing their shadow work and let them um, kind of do this work. Um, so just be mindful about how you're communicating or if you're what you're communicating to people right now. Um, don't be unfair your, to yourself or to another. Um, if, if you are being guided to, um, there's just a feeling here of um, something in your mind telling you to like, and this could be balance out, maybe a relationship, maybe healing something, you know, here where it's like, oh, I, I don't know if it's going to be healed, so why try? Because sometimes we, and, and this is staying still in the moment while you let this kind of go through you. And But there's more thinking going on here. So you could be thinking about this more than you're actually even feeling it. Um, we are going to get a little more on that, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get this two of swords here. The queen of moons. Yeah, going deep, deep into that, the emotional, the psyche, um, deep, deep down into your own thought process about what's fair in, if you're in a situation that's trying to heal or you're like, what is fair? Like, and maybe doing that searching in yourself, um, with this page of swords, the new moon, interesting. Okay. The new moon. We just had our new moon and it was in Gemini, which... Um, is about communication. I am feeling communication in this. Um, fair communication. Um, maybe even being able to heal or balance something out by communicating something. But there's also feeling here of not um, necessarily... It could have already happened, like around the new moon time. Or it's coming in at the next new moon. Yeah, and I don't know. It depends on where you are, I guess, in, in, in this picture, you guys. Oh, and then this this is just one of those cards that has its own, your own meaning. And then the three of swords on the bottom, yes. So something could have just, like, really... There's definitely healing going on here. Healing in a situation. Um, something needs to be balanced out. Be made fair. Be made just. Um... I do feel like you need to take control over um, your, like, whether this is not communicating or communicating. 
I am going to get a little more on this, you guys. We're going to go ahead and get one of these oracles and see about this communication, hopefully. Let's see. Because this page of swords, I, and this is general, you guys, so it could be both. Like, um, But there is something about communicating here. Protected. Okay, there could definitely be some messenger. Definitely some communication going on here. You are protected, okay? Some communication may have happened or is happening. Um, that is, uh, there's something being made fair here and just. Um, it may have been where you just kind of got stopped in your tracks is what I'm feeling. And you just um, stopped. And it's like, I don't see where this is going. Um, so maybe you just stopped communicating to protect yourself also. And you're being guided to do that. Um, this could also be the other way around, too, where you need to follow your heart and communicate because you're being guided to communicate something. Um, and if you're worried about that communication or you're stressed out about that communication, Spirit's saying you're protected. Don't stress about it. Take this, this move. It does have the new moon here. So um, that's interesting because we just had our new moon and it's about that communication. I have to, I might want to go back and watch that, but I think there was... It was there was some communication stuff in there too um there's always communication but yeah this is about really balancing um your universe out so you may choose to not communicate um and go deep deep within to kind of get through the obstacle of feeling like you need to say something or you need to talk about something when really you you're being guided to not um but you're going within to find that like find that inner peace at a time when maybe you do want to talk maybe you do want to communicate but um there's if, if you're not finding yourself able to do it it's because you're being protected and you're probably not being it's like you'll get ready to say something or communicate something and it's just you start get stopped in your tracks and it's like oh that's your angels that's your guides that's your intuition um it's it's all the things working for you um not against you you guys um, but we work against ourselves sometimes. So be mindful of the communication you're having at this time and if you're having any. And if you're feeling guided to communicate or talk to somebody or try to mend something or heal something, then by all means do. I am feeling like this is more of a um, following the guidance and knowing that, and this could have already happened, this communication. And now it's like, um, it's like protecting your... Uh, your universe, um, you, you, there's a pr huge protection here. And this is probably a mix of you and your angels and guides and ancestors all protecting you. Because there, there is right now, you guys, this shadow energy. And this is the cardinal energy. We're the leaders, the, um, the brave ones, the pioneering spirits, the ones that go in first. And we, as cardinal signs, um, I'm a cancer sun, so I totally understand that. Um, and this is a Capricorn moon. So... This is very, like, first kind of territory, and we are. We're in new territory with um, all the shifts and changes happening in the planets. It's like, uh, sometimes we just kind of need to follow our guidance and our intuition because um, what we normally might do might not be fair to others. If, if they need to do work or they need to stew in their, like, you may not, you may want to heal something. You may want to make something right. And you have to let people kind of sit with their um, shadows. I was feeling that in the beginning. Like, um, there's a lot that we need to just sit with in peace right now with. Um, and just know we're protected. And But if we're feeling guided to speak up and help something or try to balance something out or heal something, and we can, by all means, we should. Um, there's just, there's people that want to get through their their demons and their fears and their anxieties and their low self-worth and their addictions and then there's people that they may want to I don't ever want to believe that nobody doesn't want to but they just don't see it right now and we can't get swept into that with the will of fortune um and the, uh, that came out in the last reading it's just and this is an energy that's collective right now there's just a lot of shifts happening you guys and it's really important we stay focused on what we're trying to balance out when what, what's fair what is fair to us? What is fair to, um, what's fair to us, you know, and what's right? Uh, this three of swords on the bottom, I know there's some kind of healing going on here. And messenger, you could, this could be receiving communication. 
um, it coming up, coming up, or having had already received communication that made you feel better about the way you're ruling your universe, made you feel better about the about your healing process. You could have got some really great insight from somebody or a compliment or something like that. This doesn't have to be negative, but it's just really staying in your heart center, you guys. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't leading you, guiding you, and doesn't mean you shouldn't trust it um, because there is protection here, okay? So let's get a tarot oracle, um, and I will read this, you guys. This is an animal um, deck that I love, but what is neat is in the book there's like three or four different sections, and each one is just like a different because there's several different energies for these cards. The coyote, grit. I was feeling that at the beginning of the reading. Having that grit um, to get through something and to take that, um, take that stance, take that stance for yourself. Um, being able to make do with what you have too. And, and, and it's also like, and we use our, our, our survival place, our instinctual place to do that. Of course, after going through lots of that, we've learned to be a lot more centered, grounded, and focused about how we're using our resources and our grit. So I am going to read that um, grit, guys. Uh, the coyote. I love that. I like the coyote. I think the coyote gets a bad, bad rap, but survival mode. And that's what, you know... There is this cautionary energy, and it's just because right now people are fighting for the work they've done. We, are, we people that have healed and done their work, are feeling pretty dang good right now. While people that are just starting, it's like we want to help. We do, but if it had anything to do, or we're a part of their life, especially those closest to us, you guys. And sometimes that's what makes us blind too. We can't see things that are too close to us, so we have to go within because we know it's too close to home. So. Fill your way through this um, if this is a situation you're dealing with. What is grit? Some define it as courage and resolve and strength of character. No animal embodies these definitions quite like the fearless coyote. This survivor is fascinating for many reasons. Threatened territory and formidable predators are just some of what seeks to hinder this animal's ability to thrive. You may not be the biggest, best, or smartest in the room yet, but with a little grit, anything is possible. This card calls upon you to defy the odds, to prove everyone who doubted you wrong. Show up and put in more effort than anyone in the room. Strive to stand out, not for being the best, but for caring the most. For caring the most. True strength, you guys. It is. It comes from the heart. But what I do really, what is really resonating big time about this is that energy of, uh, um, you know, maybe people not seeing your worth still not seeing your value still and you've done a lot of healing um you may receive harsh communication you may receive a compliment like i said this can go either way but this is really knowing that this is your universe and who you allow into it or who you choose to communicate with or allow in your um, mind space by their communication that's your choice your universe be fair to yourself you know don't allow things in there that don't resonate with you anymore or make you feel like um like none of this work's been worth it or anything other people need to do their work too and that's been a big message collectively so i just want to say that and this is this section is called big prey the coyote will regularly target animals much larger than they are you may have developed a big fish little pond syndrome while being in charge helps us to understand leadership you will need to be challenged if you want to keep evolving there could be a challenge coming in here um that it's going to help you raise you to like not stoop down to a lower le level or not, um, you know, get into that instinctual place, but stay in that, uh, that place where you are in control over your communication, over your, what words come out of your mouth, over your healing process, over what you allow in to your mind and what you don't. Um, the coyote asks you to ask you look not for ease, but beauty in the struggle. So if there's something you're struggling with right now, some kind of communication or something like that, see the beauty in it and, and see, grow through it. See the worth in it. Um, try to keep that high high vibe, high intention, and that high heart energy um, 
what you are protected so just know that we're all protected what counts now is your effort yes some kind of effort you need to put forth here for yourself or maybe even to communicate to somebody else in a really um fair honest loving way um creating something like a vision board could serve as a compelling reminder of your goals and why you are going through all the trouble in the first place why did you start this journey in the first place why did you um begin this deep work in the first place because if you're watching these videos or you are uh, you've already begun to understand yourself on a deeper level and you're just looking for confirmation or um, wanting to understand a little bit more about perceptions of others which I totally appreciate and respect um, because it always does help to get other people's um, insights and see you know if what you're feeling is resonating with anybody else in the world and I guarantee it is it's just finding the right um, the right people that have are going through the same kind of energies as you this says aim for the jugular ooh that sounds crazy right um, striving for something bigger and better won't be easy and will require you push yourself past your perceived limits and that is this two swords too it's keeping ourselves in these limits of um, not because we're but we're, we are trying to protect ourselves so we don't really because we don't know what's going to happen we don't know what's going to um, come to so we don't want to do anything we get kind of froze and this is saying you if you want something better you have to reach for it you have to go for it you have to trust that um even walking blindly you're protected and you're going in the direction your soul is calling you so that is another message the pack by their method of attack the coyote separates itself from the pack by the method of their attack they are known to approach their opponent directly from the front aiming at the jugular being direct and honest with yourself and others is absolutely necessary. I am feeling that. It's this communication. Being honest with yourself. Do I deserve this treatment? Do they deserve this? Do I need to speak this? Do I need to talk about this? And how can I do this in a straightforward way? And I need to go big. If I'm going to make this attempt or I'm going to make this move, I need to make sure I'm all in. I am feeling that. At this time, avoid wasting time dancing around what you want. When you are hungry, you will need to get gritty and go for your target head on. Over compl complicating and over planning are pitfalls that will only put you behind the curve. The coyote's message is that when you want something, you will need to be prepared to take the risks to put yourself out there. In spite of the fear, in spite of um, you feeling like, oh, maybe, you know, this isn't going to turn out well or this is what's right for you. You have to go for what you want because that's what's fair. That's what's just for you to be aligned, to go towards what you want. So go towards what you want. Um, the, and the, the ecosystem part of this card is the grizzly and the pack. Um, the coyote doesn't have the same strength in numbers as the pack. They can suffer from their lack of tribe, causing them to fall prey to animals such as the grizzly. Don't allow yourself to become too immersed in solitude. Keep your connections, healthy connections, and your support systems there as you're um, working on your deeper stuff and maybe maybe communicate how appreciative, show your gratitude to those that do support you and are there for you and are part of your um, pack, you know? Um, although the coyote energy is kind of, it goes off kind of, a, it does it kind of on its own thing, but it's also... Um, it also needs it also needs the others also and it's not as big as like a huge huge pack but it's it's very thrifty and it's very in, innovative energy and it makes do with what it has and it's fine but there is vulnerability when you're facing something on your own and you don't have the pack behind you what if this is a conversation you're having where you know you don't have a lot of backup or support everybody's going to be quiet everybody's not going to say say you have your back that's fine know that you're protected know that it doesn't matter if anybody you have to go for what you want you have to speak clearly loudly bluntly um but kindly too don't forget to be kind you guys we can be firm and say what we need to say and we can still be straight up like not messing around but not hateful hurtful or cruel we're doing this we're speaking this from a place that wants to heal something wants something to get better sometimes it's like i call it tough love 
but that that it's it's a real thing and sometimes stubbornness and sometimes it doesn't help either to communicate if somebody's stuck in their ways or stuck in their shadow or stuck in their um, perception and you can't shift that or change that then you need to protect yourself too your guides are doing it but you need to do it too you need to step out of those places where it feels unfair to keep exerting your energy into something that's um, just not what you want because this isn't what you want you don't want relationships and situations that are unreci and not reciprocal doesn't mean we leave everybody that, that um, doesn't agree with us behind we just have to sit back and take time to ourselves to gather ourselves um, and just evaluate what it is we're really trying to do here for ourselves so that we can be that example, be that leader. With the cardinal energy, that's what it is. It's like we are setting an example here. We have to go in and we're lead the way. And sometimes, you know, people don't like leaders, especially other people that think, no, they they know better or whatever. That's fine. You don't have to tell everybody what to do either. Just be the leader by leading in your own life, showing up for you, showing up and doing what you need to do and showing the other people that it's possible. And you can get through your fears and you can get through your uh, fear of rejection or harsh communication without being afraid you're going to lash out or say something mean because you've gained control over your communication. You gained control over your universe. That is what I'm feeling. Uh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I thought this room was going to stop people from coming in when I was doing readings and I apparently need to get something for the door. Awesome. So, yeah. While survival instincts are helpful in many circumstances, a perpetual you versus the world outlook is lonely. Even if you can do everything on your own, that doesn't mean you should. And I love that too, because this is starting with the star card, which is being very guided. You and your guides, that's it. You, your North Star, heading forward. There could be a feeling of wanting to communicate something, to be fair to yourself, to get a relationship, to get um, support, to try to... Um, share your journey with others which is a beautiful thing if you can be honest and open about what you're working on and your endeavors but it's also hard times with the whole there's a lot of a lot of negative energy that's just whew, i'm telling you it it there's there's just as much as there's people trying to be you know help heal and release the past there's people that want to hang on to it and hang on to that constriction and hang on to that you know there and maybe they don't deep down in their hearts, but the egos and the minds, just it's just crazy how that works. So that's another whole nother message there. But, um, but definitely be mindful about, are you being fair to yourself? Are you avoiding relationships because you're trying to protect yourself? Because you don't trust what you can't see. I feel that as a strong message for this. Trust, trust what you don't see. Trust that you're being guided into more balance fairness, justice, and more control over you and your universe. doesn't mean others, but it does mean you, and it can make your life a lot better. Um, if you've been dealing with conflicts, especially in communication and healing, uh, like a relationship or something, maybe shift your focus. I, the bit, other card I drew was that Seven of Pentacles. That's that evaluation, evaluating if what we're doing is working or if it's not fair to us, it's wasting our energy, or it's um, putting us down if this is a, you know, where it's Diminish, diminishing our trying to diminish our purpose and intention by devaluing it and making it untrue to what our hearts know are true. So that's um, another message. I may not be the smartest person in the room, but I'll strive to be the grittiest. I can make it through this. I am innovative. I I know how to make whatever work, and I will do that. I'm not going to fall into the depths of whatever because I can't do it alone or I'm afraid. No, you got it in you to do this alone if you need to. But if you really need to reach out, try to communicate with somebody, and you're feeling guided to do so, do so. It could be a good thing right now. I'm having a little support. Um, if not... There's something you truly want to reach for here, something you're truly in alignment with, something you that is going to bring a lot of balance and fairness into your life that maybe 
Um, you, sometimes you got to fight for that fairness, you guys. Sometimes it's just things aren't fair, and you got to stand up for yourself, and you got to say, you know what? That's not fair. I have been there, or I have done this, and I am here, and it's not fair that you're um, minimizing my efforts and making them nothing and only pointing out this and that and the hard stuff. You have to trust. Trust your guidance right now. Trust your heart. Trust that they're just just because you love somebody or just because you want want friends or uh, colleagues or whatever to understand you doesn't mean they're going to, and that's okay. It doesn't mean they're bad people either. It just means we're at different places right now and everybody's doing their work at a different stage. So that is what I'm getting for you guys as a reading. Ooh, that was kind of a busy message. Um, I hope it helped somebody. All right, you guys. Well, I just want to say thank you, you guys, again. Thank you for everything, your, your support. And I am here trying my best to support growth and healing and um, recovery from, you know, all this stuff, you guys, like, it's, um, just we get, oh, so that's interesting, that new moon, hmm, that should be interesting, okay, if that is for a new moon, you guys, just be mindful coming up to the full moon that there may be some harsh communication, um, or compliments that actually make you feel like, yes, I'm aligned, I'm doing what I need to do, this feels fair, this feels balanced, um, there could just be, it feels like busy, busy, could be just busy communication, it could be gossipy, it could be, you know, there's a lot of things, but there's a feeling here of you holding still and not, um, making any, any moves, but I feel like there's a need to communicate something here. communicate something so it can be fair and just something it feels like you know it's not fair for you to be stuck here not trusting that you have something to say or that you could even help a situation or maybe um this could be several different things because i'm getting a lot of messages for that um, i do want to see i'm going to give these just a quick shuffle and see what six of swords yep yeah. so yeah going through that transition the Oh, this is so beautiful. I love that. Yes, it's going through those rough, choppy waters right before the end of a journey, um, or at least this part of the journey, before you land and you rich yourself in your soon-to-be energy, which is going to be more balanced because there's fairness and justice here. So if you're feeling like, hey, yeah, I'm feeling that in my life. I'm feeling like things are even and out, but I still don't know what's coming, so I still don't want to talk about it, or I still don't want to communicate something, or I still am afraid of... Um, get through those mental obstacles about the trusting your guides and trusting that you're being led and protected even against and through the roughest of people's emotions including your own um, it's just really being mindful about how your mind's working right now how are you handling your obstacles are you just folding away and giving up or are you fighting for what you believe in I am feeling that for this reading. So you guys, I appreciate you guys coming and watching your reading. I appreciate your likes, your subscribes. I think I said it, but if you're new here, um, hi, and I appreciate you coming to the channel, and I hope I, this reading helps somebody. Um, and if you're returning, I appreciate all your support. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a good day and a good full moon and a good 4th of July, and we'll talk to you later.